Hi everyone, I'm Heather and welcome back. Today I'd like to show you my favorites for the month of April. And yes, we are in May and you know, time does go by fast, but there are times, actually there should be a lot of times when you just need to sit back, stand back, take a deep breath and look what's around you. Right now it is a beautiful sunny day. We've had a couple of days of non-stop rain here in North Texas, but today is a beautiful day. So just enjoy. So that could be one of my favorites for January, February, April, no, January, February, March, April, May. <laughs> you know, it's all good. But let me tell you my favorites that are in makeup and skincare. But first, before I do that, I want to let you know about this lip color I'm wearing. I did this video and it should be up before this one. And it is like, a, I don't know, I guess you can call it a collab, a collaboration with my husband. He was my guest star for that video. And we did lip swatching of the Marc Jacobs, the 2018 Spring One Ray Runway Edition. And I'll link that video up here and down below. But it's a really fun video. Check that video out and, uh, you know, give him a like. I'm sure he would like that. And at the end of that video, you know, after we swatched the three colors that was in that kit, I asked him which color he wanted me to wear for the next one because we gave him a new title and the title is Makeup Critique. I don't know. It's a good title though. It's a good title. But so yes, he is my makeup critique and he picked this one. This one is called How Rouge from the Marc Jacobs, Marc Jacobs Liquid Lip Crayon. I think he did a good job. I think he did a good job picking this color. All right, let me show you my first favorites here for the month of April. And of course, I did a video on this and I'll link that one down below. But this is by Herbivore and this is the Pineapple Enzyme and Gemstone Instant Glow Mask. I really do like this mask. Uh, this is going to be one of my favorites, just like the Blue Tansy one is. But this one, I really do feel that it did brighten up my face. And it's something, you know, that you can maintain it by doing it once or twice a week. Um, I won't get into it too much in this video because I did make a full video on that. Yes, this has been my favorite. And I will be continually, is that a word? I will continue using this mask. How about that? <laughs> now my next favorite, this one was in another video that I did. Actually, pretty much most of these were in a video that I did. But this one here, this was in the Look Fantastic, the Beauty Egg Collection video. Again, I'll link that video down below. But this one here is by Amor Amora Visca. I believe that's how you say it. Amora Visca. This is the Illuminating Moisturizing Lotion. So this is one of the full-size products that was in that, and this retails for $160 for this little bottle right here. But I do like how it, you know, gives me that glow, that moisturizing glow. This is, this is something I put on after I put my serums and maybe a little moisturizer, but then I put this one on over it, and I really do like how it gives me that glow. If you look, it gives you a pump and it's really a small amount. I mean, that is pretty much all you get in this one little pump. I typically like to put two pumps. That's enough to cover my face. I'm going to put that on my hands here. And it just gives you a soft glow, a really nice glow. And it does smell nice. It does smell nice. So that has been one of my favorites and I'll be continuing using this product. You know, the kit, I believe it cost $90. And there were seven products in here, and this was one of them, and this is a full-size product. And for something to get for $90 and you get a $160 product in here, I think that's a good collection. I will be getting that again next year, and hopefully, you know, I'll let y'all know so y'all can jump on that deal too. All right, the next product here that I've been really loving, and it is by Pure, their eyeshadow palette, the Creator eyeshadow palette. Mostly everything else is from a haul video, and you guessed it, I will link that video down below for you guys. But this one right here, I've been really, really loving it. Here are the colors right here. And you're getting 12 shadows and a highlighter and a contour, and this palette costs $42. And it's what I'm wearing right now. I am, right now I'm wearing this one here. This one here, I did set my primer with this one, and I put these three these three in the crease 
And on my lid, I put this one and this one, I believe. And then I put on the outer corner, I put this dark blue one right here. I'll, I'll put swatches up. And these are the swatches in the first two rows. And they are really, really nice. The matte colors blend in very beautifully. The, the shimmer shades, the metallic shades are really nice. And the third row are eyeshadows, and the last row, there's two at the end. One is considered a highlighter and a contour. They are very nice. Again, the mattes blend like a dream. The metallic shades do have some fallout, so you may need to do your eyes first or put some powder underneath your eyes after you put your face makeup on to catch the fallout. But they are really nice, and they do have a little bit of a kick up. So as you can see, I hope you can see. So it does have a little bit of a kick up here and of course, you know, tap it to tap off the excess powder on the brush. But it doesn't bother me about the fallout. You know, all I have to do is, you know, just blow it off. It's no big deal for me. So besides the fallout, there is another thing. I know, you know, not everything is perfect, but how they have this folded up. You know, it does have a nice mirror here, but it has like a little, trifold thing right here where you kind of set it up but it doesn't sit it doesn't quite sit so it always falls down and you know you can't I guess you can kind of fold it this way but it just kind of pops up like this so what I do is I just keep it standing up like this and just take the brush just use the brush I'm using and dip it in the color so that works or you know I can have it laying down and it kind of you know propped up for you there like that so it's not quite a bad thing. You could make it good, you know, you could you could work with it. But the shadows are really nice. I really do like the Pure co uh, Cosmetics uh, products. And another good thing about this, this is considered a Z palette. So you can kind of lift this off, well not kind of, you can lift this off. And all the shadows here are magnetic. And so you can take some out, put some in, you know, do whatever you like with this. The only drawback, I think, I don't know the names of these shadows. They're not on the back. Let me get it here for you. So I don't know the names of these shadows or highlighter and uh, or contour. But my favorite matte color right here is this reddish brown right here. I mean, and the powder is really smooth, really nice. But this one here is really a nice nice crease color and this one here this one feels like a cream and it's just again right there and this one right here is another one of my favorites in the metallics this one i wore in the there it is right there this one here i wore in the the mask video for herbivore i wore that one i really do love these eyeshadows so this has been my favorite by pure another thing by pure that i have been really loving this is the four in one blush book mm -mm -mm. this one does not come with a mirror and this one doesn't fold back but look at these colors look at these colors right here this one is the one i'm wearing right now on my cheeks this one right here and this one's called passionate and again it's what i'm wearing on my cheeks and they are pigmented, let me tell you that. If you saw my video, I did mention, I believe it was this one right here. This one's called Loyal. This one here, I mean, you need to just go poop and then put it on your cheeks because I went a little heavy handed in that one and it left a pink circle right here on my cheek. And this one right here, the only shimmer, the orangey one, determined that this one right here. So, yes. I have been loving this blush book right here. And again, you can take these uh, pans out and put it in another Z palette. You know, if you're traveling and you just want to take one Z palette with you, that's really nice. I'm glad they thought of that. You get four blushes here for $36. So, what is that? $9 a, a pan? It's not bad, not bad. But yes, this has been my favorite two eye products here one is an eyebrow pencil and this is by elf this is only two dollars this eyebrow pencil two dollars it has a really nice spoolie at the end right here and here is what the pencil looks like 
Now granted, it is a little bit thicker than say the Anastasia Beverly Hills or the Benefit Precisely My Brow, that's, that's also my favorite. It is a little bit thicker tip, but it really does glide on, the color does glide on my brows and it doesn't leave it creamy or matte. I believe it was the L'Oreal one that did that to me. And for $2, this right here has been my favorite, and this one is in the color uh, Neutral Brown. This is in the color Neutral Brown. You know, let me swatch that for you. So this is right here, Neutral Brown. I also have Deep Brown, so I do have those two, and it only comes in three colors. That's a downside of it, but for $2. The lighter color is called Taupe, I believe. That one won't work for me. But the second one, which is this one here, uh, Neutral Brown and Deep Brown, those are the ones I picked up, and this one has been my favorite. All right, the second product for my eyes, it's by J. Cat Beauty, and this is the Rock Glitz Eyeliner Pen. This one, this one's in the shade Tuxedo Mask. Again, it's everything that I'm showing here is what I'm wearing or what I use. I used the mask this morning, and I put on the Amoris Visca, the illuminating lotion. I put that on this morning. So, hey, I am rocking my favorites today. All right, let's get back to this pen here. But this is like a dupe for the Tom Ford, the eyeliner pen. And I found this one watching Demetra from Breakups to Makeup. I'll link her channel down below and the eyebrow pencil. I found this one watching Bonnie Lynn and I'll also link her channel down below. I'm telling you, there's going to be a lot of links down below. So I hope you do check those out. So here it is right here. Let me swatch that for you. I mean, it's just a regular black eyeliner pen. Oh, it didn't do that right. It went, it went in between my veins. <laughs> and here's what the tip looks like. You know, it's, it's the dupe for the Tom Ford. And I'll link that video that Demetra did that, uh, you know, she did a comparison between the two. So, and this one cost $6.99 compared to, I believe it was either $57 for the Tom Ford. I believe so $50 less and you get the same amount of pigmentation and it's what I'm wearing right now on my lids what I'm wearing underneath my eyes is just a regular pencil I believe it's by Essence and in my waterline but this one for my tap for my top lash line yes my favorite and for $6.99 can't beat that now the last product here that I have, it is, this one was in one of my Beauty Fix subscription box. This is from This Works, the Deep Sleep Pillow Spray. I have two of them here, and this one was in another Beauty Fix box maybe several months ago. And this one was just, I believe, in my last one. This one here, I sprayed on my pillow. Actually, let me tell you the story. This one I got first. Uh, you know, several months ago in a Beauty Fix subscription box, and I thought, you know, just last month, let me spray it on my husband's pillow first, just to see how it works. So before I came to bed, I put two spritz, you know, on his pillow, not on his pillow, but kind of over it and let it drop to, to the pillow. And let me tell you, during the night, and when I woke up the next morning, he was sound asleep pretty much all through the night. You know, just... A nice deep breathing and I asked him you know I didn't tell him I sprayed it on his pillow and I asked him you know a couple days later or the next the next after the second day I sprayed it on his pillows like how you been sleeping he goes I've been sleeping pretty good no joke no joke guys and so I told him he goes wow no wonder I'll probably spray this every other day because I don't want the pillows to be saturated with that scent and the scent is lavender and chamomile I believe but it really does calm calm us and we just do sleep better so yes this has been our favorites actually my husband's favorite too so I'm glad we got this in the in the beauty fix subscription box and when this finishes I will be purchasing the uh, full-size product of this those were the products that were my favorites for the month of April and I'm gonna mention one more thing here I know you know I like to throw in something a little bit about me in some of my favorites video you know it's not all about makeup or is it hmm anywho and I know I've talked about this before I am a football fan and 
especially Dallas Cowboys fans. So the draft was here in Arlington. It was in Cowboy Stadium or AT&T Stadium. I like to call it Cowboy Stadium. But the draft was there and my son Luke and I, we were able to go. So that has been really fun. That has been really fun to go with my son. And, you know, it, it was a fun, fun place there. They had the NFL experience there where we kind of, you know, throw some footballs at a target. And I'm going to show you a video here. I did hit the target once. The second one, mm, not so much. <laughs> But it was fun and, and I know we were high up because it was a lottery system and he won I guess in the second or third round lottery drawing system. I don't know how they did that. So we were up high and uh, we were able to boo the commissioner Goodell. Yes, that was priceless to be able to boo him. Fun. And to be there, to see Drew Pearson talk, to see Michael Irving talk, to see Troy Aikman, Jason Witten before he retired, and uh, Roger Staubach. Troy Aikman, Jason Witten, and Roger Staubach. It was really nice to see them there. Granted, yes, we were high up. We had to look at that big screen, but it was fun. It was really a highlights for the month of April, and I just wanted to mention that to you guys. And it was fun being with Luke. I kid you not. Whenever I text him, I'll get like one or two words out of that kid. But whenever we talk football, I will get complete sentences out of him. <laughs> so... <laughs> so and it's all good. It's all good. I mean, the 20-year-old, 21-year-old boy. I mean, it was nice to experience that with them. Besides skincare and makeup, going to the draft here at AT&T Stadium with Luke, that has been my favorite. All right, you guys, check out the video that my husband did uh, with me, the Marc Jacobs Liquid Lip Crayon Swatch. And, you know, give him a like. Give him a little love there if you can. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.